Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 7.1.1, which is the current firmware that can be run on the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 5, iPhone 4S, I believe, the iPhone 5C, along with the iPad Air, the iPad Mini, and anything that can get onto 7.1.1. Now this jailbreak is fully untethered, which basically means it's unrestricted and you won't have any problems after your jailbreak, so that's always a good sign. Now we're going to be using Pangu, which is a new jailbreak application developed by a Chinese uh, dev team and they finally today released a version for the Mac so I can show it off to you guys. So what you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description, download the file, open it like I have on my computer and plug in your device. I'll be using an iPad for this demonstration. So you can see here I have it um, up. Now what you're going to do is open, click and open uh, Pangu. Now if you have this problem uh, as you might uh, because security is default like this you're going to need to open up your security application and say open anyways it will say something like you can't open it because you downloaded it from the internet now that's just the standard new Mac security if you're running Mavericks I believe so you're just going to hit open anyway and then just hit open and then here is the jailbreak so you can see uh, it translated into an English version which is really nice um, says to back up before you start so if you have any important information it's a good idea to back up but all you're gonna have to do for now is hit the jailbreak button so I'm just gonna be clicking that and it's gonna instruct you uh, to do some things on your iPad so what you're gonna want to do on your device that's connected to your computer is hit the settings application go to the general tab then find that date and time option now once you found the date and time uh, this set automatically will probably be, be on for you. You're going to have to turn that off and that will allow you to choose a custom date. So essentially the certificate expired on their developer panel and an exploit is to go back in time on your device and not actually allow the jailbreak to work. So what you're going to want to do is go to June 2nd at 2 p.m. Uh, of 2014. So once you have that done, you can see that the jailbreak progress will now continue and uh, uh, you'll just have to wait for the next step. So in about a minute you'll get an option to uh, click the Pangu icon on your device. So that's what we're going to be doing. Just switch over to the iPad find that application, it might be on a separate page or a different page than you're on so you're just going to tap that, hit continue and they'll start running on your device and you can go back to the computer so here we're just going to wait a few minutes and see what happens now your device will reboot and then you'll get this prompt all you're going to have to do is go on to the device slide to unlock and then it'll say that the jailbreak process is done. Now after this you'll be completely jailbroken, no worries turning off and on your device, everything will work perfectly fine and how it did. The only exception is you will now have uh, Cydia where you can install all the packages that you want. So you can here you can see Cydia working completely fine and everything is function functioning once you're jailbroken. So, uh, here you are. If you want more videos on uh, what you can do when you're jailbroken, make sure to subscribe. Uh, if this worked for you, hit the like button, and I'll see you guys later.